in March this year. There was a presidential council meeting between the two countries during which a series of bilateral agreements were assigned, which included the tourism and hospitality and culture sector. Authenticating a memorandum of understanding between Gambia Tourism and Hospitality Institute, GTHI, and Senegal's Ecole Nationale de Formation Hotelier et Touristique. This unfolds barely four months after the last Senegambia Presidential Council meeting. GTHI Director General Daura Nyang described the intervention as crucial, explaining that it will keenly boost academic and service excellence alongside agro-tourism which largely looms in the industry. Uh, we all aiming for um, academic excellence. We all aiming for service excellence. We also um, clear about the fact that we want to improve the linkages between tourism and agriculture in our respective countries. As academic institutions, we should be doing joint research between our two countries, involving our, our staff, our students, to, to have outcomes that will change lives in our respective countries. Emphasizing the vitality of the union, the director of Ecole Nationale de Formation Hotelier et Touristique, Moussa Chor, cited the exchange of good practices and students as key aims of the memo. Chor also mentioned the harmonization of policies to better tourism and hospitality in the region. This memorandum of understanding will allow our two institutions to exchange in terms of good practices and experiences in the fields of tourism and hospitality. What we're aiming at is to allow the GTHI to receive Senegalese students here in the Gambia and to allow the Gambian students also to come to, to Senegal in order to know how we're training our students and to give them also the opportunities to frequent our hotels and enterprises in sectors of tourism and hospitality. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Tourism and Culture, Kodu Jabang, hopes that the partnership will enhance continuous development cooperation between the two countries. We are very much um, in a position to register our commitment as a sector to continue to progress and work hand in hand with our counterparts in Senegal to ensure that the conclusions of the Presidential Council meeting that was held sometime early this year will be achieved as planned. For a sector which is a key employer and GDP contributor to the Gambian economy in particular, the engagement is deemed timely and handy in augmenting the Gambia's challenge tourism and hospitality glory. Modu Bajan, GRTS.